well hello everyone and welcome back to my channel uh, where we are looking at uh, mpesa daraja api using django and react native to make real world mobile applications both for android and ios uh, in the previous uh, tutorial series we've been looking at uh, how to integrate uh, mpesa using python and django and saving all the transaction to the database and now the time has come for us to pick a real world application where we can use our app now uh, in this uh, video it's going to be a bit different from the rest uh, where i'm going to show you three things and i hope by the end of the tutorial series uh, it will all make sense uh, so let's start off with the first video so earlier today something funny happened so um, as i was walking out i realized that uh, somebody had dropped seems like it's a gas delivery pamphlet um, card for people uh, you know that deliver gas to homestead and i got this idea where i thought you know what there's a lot of people or business people uh who come to the estates uh to sell the oh, ops okay so the, here is another pamphlet from one of my neighbors it seems it's a what is it um uh, it's a carpet cleaning service and so with time uh you find that wherever we live and i live in nairobi and you'll find that there's a lot of people who come and drop pamphlets near your doorstep there are people who come door to door trying to sell things there's a lot of also commercial activities that happens in the local kiosks in the people who sell services online be it salonists uh, be it uh, people who sell bags and here uh, i'm showing uh, the, our whatsapp group from the estate that i live in and in the next two minutes you're going to realize uh, one of the reason i met this group is the sheer amount of advertisement that goes through for products actually i think the most dominant aspect of our sub group for where i live uh, so for example here you can see there's somebody who wants water and again please note two things uh, there are those people uh, who come to the group looking for other people that offer certain services you have like this upcoming one where it's uh, i think it's a guy selling uh, bishori rice and is looking for customers and this list goes on and on and on so uh, i decided to walk around where i live so that i can show you a picture of, of first of all the problem that you are facing uh, so I live in a very concentrated uh, estate as you can see it's a lot of buildings you can see there's other people here who are selling bus service uh, buses that come up very early in the morning to collect people I can see in one of the buildings here where there's somebody's okay that's just the power I think but there's another person or is it the same guy who is sticking stickers wanting to sell gas and if you go back to this whatsapp group you see there are people selling duvets there are people selling chicken and this is just what was happening today uh, so it's it's a huge collection of people uh, who look for products online again there are things that people buy in uh, places like jumia and those are usually things like mobile phones home appliances you know uh, and in some instances some clothes uh, but again a lot of uh, online selling is happening either in Instagram and uh, Facebook but now the real challenge is for people who live close together whether it's in estates whether you are living in South B, South C, whether you're in Nairobi West, uh, Kasarani, Utawala or whichever place there's a lot of trading that happens between people and the only way these people can come together is not through Facebook, it's not through Instagram, it's not through LX but it's just by the virtue of whatsapp groups and usually so here we can see there are people selling junk food uh, where you can get delivery uh, and again this can be categorized whether in people offering services uh, people offering offering products like i think one of the people was selling stuff today was selling like necklaces and one of the problem they had is that they did not know how to brand it so i'm just gonna show you quickly uh 
just the scope of uh, work that I can solve just by the place I live. So this is the estate uh, I'm currently living in. And as you can see, it's a lot of buildings. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a large uh, housing project. And all these people at the end of the day have to find a place of buying stuff. So assume uh, like today uh, I want to buy piece of, a piece of meat from my local butcher and I'm getting late at work. So one of the things I can do is either send a neighbor or call the guy uh, to send somebody maybe through a border border. On the far end, uh, on the horizon, you can see another large estate. And uh, just at the bottom of the screen, uh, you can be able to see another smaller gated community. Now, all these people access the same services. So we have like a local Kinyozi, we have a local Mamamboga. You can see another estate on the horizon, which is white. And now, so imagine uh, like a Mama Skuma who has to serve all these people. So what do, what does that mean? So you can see there's also other estates in the horizon. So what happens is that if all of us want skuma, each one of us has to leave our houses and go to this mamamboga. If we want meat, we all have to leave our houses and go and meet this guy who has meat. And mark you, it has to be on time. That means uh, you cannot book in advance, not unless you know this guy personally. So imagine a case where all of this what i'm calling you know it's all more or less like a social e-commerce where all of us can come together on one platform and instead of selling things on whatsapp or rather groups uh, if we can have a central place where all purchases or local e-commerce which is tiny in this case can happen in all on one platform let me show you something So uh, this is a mobile rendering of uh, what I'm proposing we do as a project going forward. Uh, this is, as you can see, it's a mashup of both Android and iOS app, and I'm calling it Plotty. Plotty is a Kiswahili word that means, you know, plot or an estate in this case. And uh, it's about people buying stuff um, in their localities or all that e-commerce or trading that happens in a certain locality. So that means uh, if you want uh, to buy gas, you can just log into the app and buy it. If you want to buy fruits from your local guy, you can log into the app and do that. So basically, when you open up the app, you are going to be greeted by this screen, uh, a standard app. Then, of course, you are going to have sign in. And uh, if you don't have an account, you sign up. Uh, then we are going to have, this is how I envision the main page to be, where you, if you want to buy groceries, if you want to have services. So for example, last week I needed an electrician. I didn't know a local electrician. So I had to go and ask, start asking people on WhatsApp groups, hey, where can I get an electrician? If you want gas deliveries, if you want to buy fruits uh, or other things. Um, so the lady was asking for anyone who sells, you know, dispenser water. So uh, let's say if you want to buy something, then you can click on one of these. Now let's say you click on the mangoes, uh, it comes up and you can see the description. If this is ripe Kenyeji mangoes. Uh, Kenyeji, for those who do not know Kiswahili, means traditional. You can see the seller, the name of the person selling and their contact. So you can decide to call them. Either you can pay them in advance and come collect it later. You can, you know, pay and they can deliver to you if they offer delivery services. Uh, there are also people around the estate who sell a lot of pudding or juices. Uh, you can also buy that. This is related items. So anyway, you add this to cart or you can add this to a wish list. So let's say you add to your wish list or your cart is going to be similar. You can have whatever you've bought and you can add the amount or reduce. In this case, it's pineapple and it's four in a pack. Uh, you can add more items to the cart and you can continue to check out. So in the checkout page, you are going to have, right now I'm not going to implement Visa because uh, it's not part of the tutorial series. We're only going to concentrate, as you can see here, with M-Pesa. So basically, when you click this button, you're supposed to pay and uh, whatever you've bought either will be delivered to you whether or you can go collect it or whatever the agreement with the person is. 
and now you are going to get a confirmation that uh, the order has been received on the other side so for example assume uh, you wanted to buy flowers or you wanted uh, to buy meat at the local place so when the other guy receives the order or let's say you wanted pudding uh, you get a confirmation that the order has been received and also if you get time we might do this interesting thing with google maps where uh, we can track when the order was received uh, uh, when in the case let's say you are buying flowers you can see uh, when th the other person will confirm that they've started packaging or doing if it's butchery they've started cutting up and now you can also get notified if uh, they are delivering to you another use case you can think about it is that in Nairobi we have like pizza deliveries where for uh, these guys for example uh, Debonairs does it uh, there's the famous one Della delivery uh, which is done by Pizza Inn so but again now imagine how many apps you need to have so for pizza in i have to i have saved their number and if i go to a different location i need to have their number but in this case all these people who deliver all these things can be uh, aggregated into one app so uh, of course when you get delivery uh, you get also a notification in case you are not home and somebody else is home to pick it up again this i know this seems overkill when you're just doing a mamamboga delivery but uh, I, I believe it's going to be helpful for all parties so of course you're going to have a customer profile but even most importantly is that uh, we are going to have a seller profile and this is the advantage uh, in my opinion this will have to the sellers so this mamamboga outside there or somebody with a shop or somebody selling juice in the estate or somebody offering their services as a plumber or as an electrician or uh, as a fundi uh, now you can be able to reach uh, people near you much more effectively unlike how nowadays we do is that uh, you go to facebook and try to look for let's say furniture for people near you which is very difficult uh, also for sellers uh, let's again take the case for Mwamboga you will get access to a lot of people there's a lot of people that would like to have some of this product but they are too lazy to walk perhaps to this place and buy so that means instead of all these people are streaming towards one shop then you can have one shop uh, distributing either through a bicycle or a picky picky to all these people so you can have a butchery and do all your orders in the morning uh, and you know and all the meat is bought maybe by lunchtime because people want to do things at the comfort of their homes yeah so think of it uh, as an amazon prime uh, but for your specific hood one of the things that i want to do is that i want this to be localized that means you can only access for the nearby estate near you that means if you are living for example uh in uh, langata you can only access uh, sellers and buyers near you only and of course for for mamboga you you are going to upload a product you take a picture of the skooma that you are selling you put uh the price then you also give the option whether you do delivery so people have to pick it up so in this case you've said you can do deliveries so that means if i order this and in my customer profile I'm going to put my location so I'm going to say I live in this estate uh, which is near the the seller this house and this I mean this house number and then they can deliver to me uh, for now I won't put the option of pay on delivery because again we want to see how we can use M-Pesa to solve this and yes that's it so uh, I'm excited about this project I think it's going to be helpful uh, first of all like uh, wherever you are wherever if you are in places like Kangemi whether you are in places like uh, even in Mombasa or wherever you are you can be able to access all these services at once I'll leave off by just giving a few example of uh, in my case so uh, I've, I've lived in Kasarani uh, sometimes back for about a year or so and usually what used to happen is that whenever I didn't have gas I had to I, I had to save contacts for various people selling gas in the in the estate which I thought uh, was very inconvenient because wh when once one guy is out or he has closed the business then you have to ask your neighbors for phone numbers for all these people another issue was whenever i used to come late from work uh, i knew i could miss uh, let's say meat from the butchery or the skooma or the fruits 
Uh, but if I had an option of buying these things in advance and they get, de get delivered to wherever I was living, that would have been okay. And this used to happen especially like when you want to buy fruits. And I didn't want a situation where you have saved all these numbers of all these random people who sell you stuff in the street uh, because then you know you start communicating with them then you know they start seeing your whatsapp profile it's not good for privacy issues i uh, like a system where you can just buy your things then you find them there and also for these sellers i think they also get a broader reach some of their customers at this mamamboga could not have reached in the area now her products is exposed and at the end of the day if you have a unique product or service that you're offering like we've seen in one of the whatsapp groups there's a lady who is doing very unique conros the, the the saloonist then uh you can be able to extend your customer base uh in the estate near you so guys let me know what you think about this uh one of the things that we'll be doing going forward is uh, doing the app now with react native and also doing some few changes from the django code that we wrote from for, for the back end i'm considering doing very long tutorial series going forward that means perhaps one video will be like one and a half hours because again i've been busy i don't think i've posted anything for the last almost two months now because of work but kindly let me know whether you'd like more smaller smaller videos per day let's say uh, 10 15 minutes or would you rather consider like one huge chunk again the work ahead will be a lot so in the next video we'll be looking at uh, the breakdown of all the topics that we'll be covering going forward in terms of react native and i hope that this project excites you and i hope that this is an app that we are going to actually push to production and i want to see it go all the way until we get a use case so i'm not just doing this for the purposes of tutorial i also want to do this uh, and test it out and just see how it works because i think one way or another it's going to be exciting i think uh, we are going to fill a, a unique space that is not served by a lot of people and that is more of local e-commerce uh, where we have this segregated groups of people in estates or small towns like let's say if you live in buruburu you can have a you can have a local e-commerce uh, by the people for the people inside that locality and i think it's going to help a lot of people as well so uh, again as always uh, if you're finding me for the first time make sure to subscribe to my channel as well as uh, follow me on social media i look forward in seeing you in the next one bye